down through his wake into a low toe position. So you're in the tractor beam now, keep pushing. There you go, feel how you got below it now? Alright, let's go to the left corner, outside. A little bit further, a little further, get that mirror kind of almost to the outside edge. Right, a little further. Right there, right there. Alright, now let's go up. Get that turn in. Tail wheel, main wheel in a line. Perfect. Alright, go to the other side. Right, tail wheel, main wheel in a line. Alright, go down. Okay, we're diverging a little on the way down. Going out. See how the rope gets a little slack in it? Yeah. Alright, so now we're in the right corner, back to the middle. Not, yeah, middle low toe. Alright, now back to high toe. Alright, let's give him a 180 degree steering turn, left or right. Head out to the right. So let's go out to his left. Now his tail wheel and his main wheel are in a line. Now you're, now you're just lining up with his wing tip now. Alright, now stay lined up on his wing tip as he turns. See how he's getting a little inside of you? You're getting slung to the outside a little bit. There you go. Good. Just stay right on his wingtip. going to do is we're going to slip to it and we're just going to push on the right and see how it doesn't take a whole, whole hell of a lot of bank hardly any huh yeah and we just kind of keep playing with that object until we're, we're good at it i mean and now when i when i let off you see how the speed should be right about at 65. all right all right why don't you slowly with your foot on that rudder slowly bring it up to a stall in this slip short, we didn't even make the runway. <laughs> Alright, so I was just showing you a good picture, because um, I was keeping you stabilized on centerline, yeah. and showing you about what it should look like coming down. Um, so this, this next one, we'll, we'll have you do it all your own. I had one guy describe it as a controlled falling out of the sky. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, tow into the downwind the left downwind, make sure you do a good break for the separation, and then uh, come in high like that and practice a slip with the dive brakes on your own. 
Austin Traffic Glider, 8 Santa Romeo, left base, runway 31, Austin Glider. Alright, we're high, huh? Oh no! Yeah, speed brakes. Now start to slip here. Go ahead and push in the right rudder. And you're going to keep that right rudder in all the way through the turn. I got it. Keep turning, keep turning. Alright, let's get lined up with center line. This is what the test is going to be. Lining up with center line. Re-establish the slip. Try and keep it right on center line. Alright, landing configuration. Alright, left. See how, see how the nose is pointed off to the right again? You felt it though, right? When we yes, touched down? I'm not doing it right. Alright, yeah, you just gotta meet this way. Traffic glider 87 Romeo on the left downwind for runway 31, Hollister Glider. Alright, we could do a 360 too at this point, but go ahead and use full dive brakes. Now slip right on center line. Kind of lined up for the right side of the runway, just overpower it and come back to the left with the ailerons. So, a lot of left ailerons, so we get lined up on the center. So, we did this whole thing lined up with the right side of the runway. Okay. Alright, go ahead and land in configuration now. Alright, now this time when we touch down, be on the rudders to make sure we're nice and straight. Little left runner, there you go. Alright, this time we're gonna go out to um, the IP and we're gonna fail the dive brakes. And if you come in that high with no dive brakes, we'll have to do one or two 360s on final. Because right. we'll never make it. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so you check your dive brakes here. Oh, uh, they're oh, jammed. No. Oh, no. Alright, so they don't work. So we know that we don't want to come in high like we have been the last time. <laughs> So you can start your slip here even and pick an object out there that so you can fly to it. That's gonna keep us somewhat straight. Stay in the slip? Yeah, oh yeah, we got it. We're also we're gonna over shoot that runway. That's all we have to work with. We have no dive brakes, so nice and square here. Just go off the grass a little at the end. We'll see. Can you hear the speed picking up? Just a little bit off to the right. The glider will land when it's ready. We'll put it on a little too fast. Still a little too fast. 
speed should be somewhere around 50. See how we're looking better now? Now yeah. how do we look? A little low to yeah, be honest. Yeah, so go ahead and take out the slip then. We're definitely going to make it with no air brakes. Yep. But, you know, no point in feeling low if you don't have to. Now how do we look? Probably a little high for the yeah, slip. Yeah, now go ahead and put the slip back in. See how when you don't dive and you keep it kind of slow, it gives you more chance, you know, you're coming down better than if you're diving. You really have to stop on this thing. Oh yeah. Usually what I do is I kind of help the people out and I kind of keep yeah, my foot I'm, there. I'm <laughs> pulling myself into the rudder with the left hand over here. Oh, okay. Well, this one's looking a lot better, huh? Yeah, much better. Hey, we're on glide slope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why it should look like in an airplane. So we're a little to the right. Yeah. So what you'll do is you'll get better and you won't it won't be these little bobs back and forth. You'll be able to steady it out after a while. Crosswind landing on 2-4 and call it a day. That was perfect. Alright, we'll come up and stop right here at Taxiway Charlie. You gotta go get your student pilot certificate. You're ready to solo. Man. 